Hi there. So here's the situation. You're in the middle of doing a great activity with your little one, and they've already got these number squares all cut out, and they've got this great sheet that they're going to glue the number squares onto, and you're so proud of them for the job that they've done so far, and you've got your glue stick ready, and you've opened it up, and you've even maybe given them an example. You've shown them, okay, you're going to take your glue, and you're going to put your glue on this square, and you're going to take the number, and you're going to stick it on, and they say, I don't want to use that glue. Because it's not as fun as this glue. This glue is fun. Because you open it up and you squeeze. The problem is, when your little one squeezes, they squeeze it everywhere. It gets on the table, it gets in their hands, it gets in the clothes, somehow it gets in their hair. It gets everywhere. And that's okay. It also kind of turns your project to mush. And so here's a great tip that will help out a ton. Give them something visual to think about when they're gluing and then show them. I'm just going to use a raindrop of glue. And show them. And say it when you do it. Something visual and something actually uh, auditory. Ready? Raindrop. Just like that. Just raindrop. And all I've got on my paper, let's see if I can show it to you without it sliding. Oh, it's really hard to see, but there is, oh, it's sliding down. It's, it's just one raindrop of glue. That's it. That's all that's on there. And then you just take it and you glue it. Their raindrop is going to be bigger than your raindrop. That's okay, because if you're encouraging them to use just a raindrop of glue, they will get better and better and better at it. It's great for some uh, motor planning and fine motor control. It's also great for not turning their hard work into mushy mush that's going to end up ripping and you can't save this thing. You're going to be able to hang up on the refrigerator when it's all done. And you're going to show them. You'll tell them, you know, I'm just going to use a raindrop of glue. You might have the kiddo who's like, I don't want you to do it on mine. You know your little one, so you may want to have two of the same activity ready so you can show them what you're going to do on yours before they do it on theirs. Just a raindrop. And then stick it on. That's all there is to it. Raindrop. And if they use too much, if you know they're putting it on and on and on, on, make sure you say it with them. Say raindrop. Oh. That was more than a raindrop. Let's try it on the next one. Raindrop. And just keep moving on. Remember your raindrops. And that's all there is to it. It's a neat tip that will help you out immensely when your kid looks at this and says, eh, -eh they want this. And they will develop some extra skills because of it. Bye.